what's, what's the safest way to do this? I'm not trying to get clapped out. We need it. You knew that it was it was definitely a AR. So there are often times when the truth comes out. And this is the truth that everybody should understand after watching this video and really understanding what our government is about and what their priorities are. No one is coming to save you. You are on your own. If you cannot take care of yourself, no one is going to come and do it for you. Just because our government poses as someone who cares about us, who's here for us, they don't care about us. They're there for their their own self-interest. And if you question any of that, let me leave you with one more thing before we even start this. If you think you can rely on somebody else with a gun, meaning the police, meaning our military, meaning our government, to handle your conflict, to come to your house, to come to your school, to come to wherever, and because you think you can rely on them, you don't buy a gun or you're an anti-gun person. Today will be a very fresh dose of reality. <laughs> Big thanks to our friends over at USCCA for sponsoring today's video. We live in a world with a ton of different gun laws and it's a bunch of crap. Unfortunately, you defending yourself with the greatest tool ever made, a gun, is not as simple as somebody breaking in your house and you handling business. Which is why I have an elite USCCA membership and why I recommend every gun owner should have one. You're automatically enrolled into a $2 million liability policy when you sign up. Doesn't matter what membership you join. You get a whole bunch of great training on before a self-defense situation and afterwards. You get a critical response team that's there for you 24 seven and you'll become a part of a huge brotherhood. Over 700,000 people that own guns are USCCA members. Now, if all of that isn't great enough, right now they're giving you a few things when you sign up. Everybody gets a range bag when you sign up. If you sign up with an elite or platinum membership, you get both a survival kit and a range bag. So there's gonna be a link below the video. Go sign up today, protect yourself. So some new stuff has came out about Uvalde and we all kind of knew exactly what happened in this situation. It was pretty simple. The police failed to act. It's as simple as that. But we didn't really know the details because it took so long for the body cams to come out. And it was really just all secretive, right? So let's watch some of this. I have a with an AR. <laughs> you know what kind of gun? No, man, they are here. Here's about right. Like, like, that would be really interesting. Perfect. So you hear that this guy has an AR. What kind of gun do you have? Oh, you have an AR? Okay. Then your partner or someone else calls it a battle rifle. What kind of gun? No, man, they are. Here's, here's a battle rifle. Like, like, that would be really interesting. You sure you're a police officer? Are you sure you understand guns? I don't even know if you can really pinpoint a gun with accuracy by calling it a battle rifle. What is that? Are we talking about like the potential battle we're gonna be in with North Korea? Are we talking about a legitimate war? Like in Iraq and Afghanistan? What are we talking about here? And what model of gun does that define? It just shows that y'all's expertise is literally below competent, no training whatsoever. No person trained in firearms with an AR-15 with a pistol would have ever said that. What's the safest way to do this? I'm not trying to get clapped out. You knew that it was it was definitely a AR. Why are you a police officer? Why? If it's about dressing up and looking tactical, I guess you could call it. You can do that as a civilian. If it's not to protect and serve, especially children. What are you doing? You just thought you would join a department that would never have any problems. You give out traffic tickets and DUIs your whole life and just be cool. Once again, we're going back to self-interest here instead of the interest of the greater good, meaning a school of kids. You're worried about how you're going to perfectly organize this whole thing instead of just running in there and trusting your ability. If you have none, that's your fault. You still gotta get in there and get into the fight. Guess what, you've got a gun and body armor. The kids don't. Then we got this real big jackass, Donald Page. Gives us a little insight on uh, what they think happened. Two, two, three round, you can see the shell casings. We just, we had no choice but just to wait and try to get some something that had better coverage where we could actually stand up to him. Uh, I, I called for long rifles, I know that. I don't know what words I used. Uh, but I knew we needed to get a whole bunch of those over there. That's it? That's what you got? You're talking like this dude's driving around in the school in a tank. Or like he's literally Iron Man, the Hulk. Like you have nothing 
to send his way to put him down. Like literally, this is what somebody would say after you put 50 shots right between his eyes and he didn't die. If that actually happened, then I would expect somebody to be like, look, we gotta regroup. We don't know what's going on. He's not dying. But no, just because he's got an AR-15. Then we have some more talk about this. Who cares what kind of gun it is? If it's a more powerful gun or a worse gun in your mind, wouldn't that make you even more in a hurry to get in there to save kids. This is so backwards. It's still so backwards. It's crazy. If y'all, if, if someone just walked into your police department and did this, okay, take your time. Do what you need to do. It's your life. But you got parents outside the school trying to get in to save their kids and y'all are just sitting trying to figure out, oh, well, he's got an AR-15. So we can't go and do this until we got like 50 cops here. Anybody gone through that door? Yes, sir. He would have killed whoever it was. Yes, sir. I mean, our, we can only carry so many ballistic vests on you. That 223 round would have gone right through you and right. through the door. I want to get the door open. What am I going to do? It's It might as well be paper. This is sick. I'm going to puke. And I got a strong ass stomach. They're talking about this like there's no one in the school or that everybody's already dead. Oh, the doors might as well be paper. That 223 round, it'll go straight through your plates. Well, what kind of plates do you have? As a police department, what kind of plates do you have? Or scratch that. Even if your police department doesn't give them to you, which ones are you going out to get? If I was a police officer, what I would be wearing is a soft level 3A, and then inside or on top of it, I would have a level four ceramic. Meaning that if I was in a situation like this, I'm not scared of a 223. I would know that I'm probably a better shot than this guy, or I would trust my ability. And I would know that if he got me, it's probably gonna stop it. But you know, we're getting so lost in the body armor and the type of door and all this stuff. The kid, had none of it. That's it. Now, not all police departments are like this. Not all police are like this. But are you willing to gamble? Are you willing to gamble that if you're in a situation like this or your kid's in a situation like this, you're going to wait for someone else to handle it for you? And you're going to bet on somebody else's courage, their bravery, their honor, their loyalty to what is right in this world. So when everyone hears gun control, when everybody's preaching it, just remember this. It's not about, oh, well, we just want our guns because of the Second Amendment. No, uh-uh. No, this is a God-given right to self-defense. This is a God-given right to relying on yourself, to not relying on another man to do your work, to protect your blood. If someone breaks into my house, I am not calling the cops to come and handle it for me. I'm calling them to be a cleanup crew because I know that I can handle it better than them. I know my house better. I know how to clear my rooms better. And I know mentally where I have to go in a situation like that. So when Joe Biden says, well, there's no reason to have an AR-15. If there are situations like this where the people who you think are allowed to have them fail to act with them, then who's gonna handle the bad guys? Is everyone just going to cower to them? Not me, not us.